Hello, and welcome to the Open Virtual Foam Project. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to bring a more complicated asset in. In this case, this Gothic Cabinet 01 from 3dmodelhaven.com. Again, 3dmodelhaven.com is a wonderful resource of Creative Commons Zero licensed objects for you to use. So, with the object downloaded, I opened the Blender file. With the file downloaded and open, I've done some cleanup work out of the video. One is I made sure to double check my scale on my object. This is 2.36 meters tall. And I also went through my object and broke it up into the different pieces that I want to use later on. So with this cabinet, I want to be able to open and close these doors. So to do that, I made the main cabinet piece a singular object and each of the doors singular objects. If I want to join two objects together into a single object, I can select both of the objects and hit Control J. That will join them together. Conversely, if I want one object to become multiple objects, I need to go into edit mode, which is tab, select the pieces that I want to break out of the object. In this case, I'm going to take this top off. I'm going to select just the top. And if I hit P, it will give me the option to separate by selection, by material, by loose parts. Generally, I make a selection and then use selection. And now I've got the top of the object and the main part of the object as two separate pieces. Generally do my splitting up before naming my objects. With the object split, I went onto all of them, hit Control A, and applied rotation and scale to them. and then set my origins on each of my individual objects to a logical point. So for the large cabinet piece, it was the bottom of the cabinet. And for each of the doors, it's a point on the side, which I got by selecting two points and using the tools clean up origin to selected command. With that done, I want to think about if I want to do any parenting or adjust any parenting that I have done. The same parenting will show up in Unreal. And in this case, I know that if I move the dresser, I want the doors to go along with it. So I'm going to select all of my doors and either in the outliner, drag and drop them while holding shift onto my dresser onto my cabinet, and now they'll move with. Or conversely, if in the scene I make a selection, and then the last thing I select is what I want to be the P, what I want to be the parent, hit Control P, and I would want to hit to object keeping the transform. So now I move my cabinet, it moves doors with it, but my doors are still separate pieces, and you can see here I've got my objects. With that done, I'm going to start the process of sending this to Unreal. So this is once again an asset. It is from 3D Model Haven. It is called Gothic Cabinet. And I'm going to put my initials in there for good measure. And this asset category is going to be dressing furniture. With that done, I'm going to run my mesh naming convention and my material naming convention. So I get all of my objects with the correct names in the outliner and my material. And then export. 
and send to Unreal. Now with the asset imported, this time we're going to pay attention to this ASB file that was created. If I click the ASB file, in the details of that ASB file, there's a button that says Rebuild Hierarchy. If I click that, it will generate my cabinet as it was built in Blender. Move it around, select each of the doors, open and close the doors. Again, like before, you might have to do a little bit of material work to make it look correct. In this case, I'm going to reassign my normal and my ORM material. And now I have my Gothic cabinet object in Unreal with opening and closing doors. If I wanted another one, I can grab the ASB file from the content browser, drag it out into the world, and click Rebuild Hierarchy. I find that once I've brought the hierarchy out into the world, it is very useful to select it and all of its children and right click group them. That just means when I grab it, it selects all of the object at the same time. And then I can hit control shift G to affect the individual objects and control shift G to go back to the full selection again. That's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to be going over how to import a scene into Unreal.